In this video, we will see that atoms and molecules behave differently at interfaces than in the bulk of materials. This can be exploited to modify material behavior. For example, non-stick frying pans are made in such a way that liquids do not spread on their surface. In this case, the contact angle taken in the liquid between the liquid and the surface is larger than 90 degrees, and the liquids are said to be non-wetting. On a sticky frying pan, liquids would spread and their contact angle would be substantially lower than 90 degrees. They would then be said to be wetting. The contact angle is an important property describing the interaction between solids and liquids, and Thomas Young, the famous British scientist, proposed an equation relating this angle to the interfacial energies of the solid vapor, solid liquid, and liquid vapor interfaces, all indicated by the letter gamma with the corresponding subscripts. These interfacial energies originate from the different state of molecules at an interface compared to the bulk of materials. Indeed, Within a material, atoms or molecules are attracted to all their neighbors so that the net resultant force they experience is zero. In contrast, at an interface, the situation is not symmetric and there is a net force pulling atoms or molecules towards the center of the material. This reflects a surface tension or surface energy and explains the spherical shape of liquid droplets. Surface tension resists interfaces being stretched. For example, as a child, you probably blew soap bubbles out of a plastic ring. By doing this, you were exerting a force to stretch the liquid film spanning the ring. The surface tension was the force resisting this. In such cases, the interface is stabilized because soap molecules preferably locate themselves at this interface. This behavior explains their general name of surfactants, which comes from surface active agents. Surfactants are broadly used in material science to modify the behavior of materials by acting at interfaces. In summary, the force imbalance on atoms or molecules at interfaces leads to a surface energy or surface tension which causes interfaces to behave differently than bulk materials. A manifestation of this is the wetting angle of fluids on solids that can be described by Young's equation. Material behavior can be modified by surfactants which are surface active agents modifying interfacial properties.